Hello, hello. Good day, guys. How are you doing? Today, I'm going to try to do this quick, but I have oil analysis between the 5W30 Synthetic uh, Signature Series from Amsoil and the Euro uh, Car Formula, the European. So, uh, some asked me what was the difference. Well, I was curious, so I sent uh, oil samples of each and I uh, might as well share it to you right now. So, on the left side, I have the signature 5W30. I'll try to zoom in. I'll pause here for a bit if you want to pause, get all the numbers. And for the Amsoil uh, Euro 5W30, here it is. Okay, so I... Uh, I looked at the numbers and there's a lot of uh, similarities, uh, but there are some differences uh, when you're more in the um, multi-source metal and the additive metal. So if we start with um, Mali Bidnam, Bidnam, Mali Bidnam, you see it here on this side here, Mali Bidnam, it's 221, and on this side, is zero so that's interesting so um, for what I I found out uh, Mali Bidnim um, there's also a company who, who has a name Mali whatever I guess they have a lot of it uh, it's an anti-wear friction modifier additive uh, usually Greece uh, will have a huge amount of it um, but what's important and I went to look at the Amsoil site uh, the Mali using the oil is 100% uh, soluble, uh, which means that it remains suspended in the motor. Oil line does not fall out uh, of suspension. So it's uh, like an organometallic friction reducer. So I have no clue why the Euro have it. I'm wondering if it's because uh, uh, top tier 5 bin, whatever uh, test they have to do there. So at least North America has that additive. Uh, then you see Boron 316 on the Signature Series and 464. So that's basically just an additive that's as a detergent, uh, which is good to have. Uh, then you see the Magnesium, uh, if you look on this side, Magnesium 994 on the Signature and 14 on the uh, euro and this one i don't know why it's so low on the uh, euro one but it's basically it's a detergent that uh, f fights corrosion and rust so i have no clue why the euro doesn't have an higher amount of it but i'm sure there's a reason uh, then you see calcium 1298 on the left side and 1700 on the right side uh, calcium well it's the most widely used additive um, it's to neutralize acids in your engine oil, so that's good to have. Then you have phosphorus, 698. They're pretty um, equal. If you look at phosphorus and zinc, uh, they're pre pretty equal. So basically, phosphorus is an anti-wear additive. Anything over 1600 ppm indicate that uh, lubricant has a highly ad additized formula. Um, Back in 05, there was a study uh, that Ford did that um, any level higher than 966 uh, and any, hi, higher than 966 could cause uh, some problems with the cats. So uh, they're both lower. You see 698 and 710. Uh, and you have zinc. Um, you know, some will call it a ZDDP, uh, but there's more to it with the ZDDP. Uh, older cars with flat tappet scans requires a lot of it. And uh, there's a good amount of z uh, zinc if you look at it. And the rest is pretty much, um, pretty much equal. Um, now, I use the signature series on the uh, Ford Fusion Sport. On the 2.7 EcoBoost and the uh, well, the uh, 
my the 3.6 GM LFX engine that's what I will use it all the time and this for those who follow this channel I've been featuring a um, 2018 Audi TTRS and that's what it uses so this is more for general information for those who wanted to know the difference between the 5W30 like North America signature versus 5W30 Amsoil uh, Euro for Euro cars. Um, that's it. Take care. Bye.